click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study about what exactly are elastomers and what are rubbers. Elastomers and rubbers are generally the same thing but they have one property which differentiates them from all other chemicals or, or other polymers and that is the property of elasticity. So here we are going to study about what exactly is elasticity, how much elasticity is needed for the elastomers to differentiate themselves from other solids and what exactly are rubbers. <music> Elastomers or rubbers, the organic polymers possessing elasticity to the extent of nearly 200 to 300 percent are known as elastomers or rubbers. So now what exactly happens over here is the property of elasticity comes into the picture. Now what exactly is the property of elasticity? It says that when you stretch something, it should get stretched. That means when a physical force is applied, when an external physical force is applied to a material to stretch it or to deform its shape and size, it will get deformed by its shape and size. But as soon as this physical force is left, that will come back to its original shape and size. That is the property of elasticity. We have seen many elastic things in our day to day lives. Rubbers are one of the most common examples of it. When you try to pull a rubber band or you try to pull a spring for example, it will get deformed. The shape and size of that will change but as soon as you remove your hands or as soon as you remove the physical applied force on it it will come back to its original shape and size that happens because of the reason of elasticity all my elastomers or all my rubbers should have an elasticity of 200 to 300 times more than my normal solids those are then considered to be as elastomers the rubber gets elongated on stretching and gets back to its original dimensions on removal of stress that is it possesses the properties of elasticity. Now they have given a diagrammatic representation of elasticity over here I have unstressed rubber unstressed rubber is my original rubber the original form of rubber the original shape the original size of a rubber is my unstressed rubber. On the arrow I have applied some stress so this stress can be in any format let us for example consider stress in the form of stretching the rubber. So if I am stretching the rubber stress is applied to that rubber and if I have applied stress in that form what happens is that I have stretched rubber in my product. So I had unstressed rubber, I applied some stress to it, it got into stretched rubber. Now again what am I doing on the arrow I have release of stress that means after the rubber is stretched I will release of the stress that is applied to it and once I release of the stress which is applied to it it goes back to its original position that means my unstretched rubber is equal to my original position rubber that means my first step and the last step or the first phase of rubber and the last phase of rubber are the same. This property is exactly the property of elasticity. Let us consider the important properties of rubber. The first property is flexibility. Flexibility is nothing but it has the property of getting stretched. It has the property of being deformed or getting stretched from its original position. That is known as flexibility. The second property is the strength. Now why do I consider strength as one of the most important properties? Because after it is getting stretched, it has to come back to the original position. If my rubber is weak, what will happen is after stretching it, it will simply break off and it will never come back to its original shape or size. That's the reason why strength has to be one of the important properties of the rubber. The third is impermeability to the water and the fourth is high resistance to abrasion. Because of all these properties of rubbers, you will find that rubber is used on a very large scale and has very high utility for domestic as well as industrial purposes. So here in today's session, we studied about what exactly are elastomers and rubbers. We studied one of the most important properties of it that is elasticity and various other properties as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.